hello hello my lovely people how are you doing hopefully you are doing well welcome back to my youtube channel like welcome 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 back in today's video it's all about how to achieve this look using threading and i'll be taking you guys step by step from the beginning to end but if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel yo you are welcome and before you leave kindly hit the subscribe button below turn on notification bell and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share this video with your loved one so i just washed my hair like 30 minutes one hour before i start to record this video so after i wash i decide to braid my hair without stretch it out and why i do so it's because when you're doing any of African threading, you don't need to stretch yourself on how to stretch your hair before you braid because African threading do such an amazing job when it comes to stretch out your hair. So after I part my hair for the first time, I apply some gel. I use all sun gel and then I use this threading. This is Doom. But you may use any kind of wool that works for you or any wool that you get which has the same texture like the one I show in this video. Not necessarily that you have to use the same brand. So each section I use six strands and then I add one more strand which I'll be using to wrap and after I finish arranging my wool, I make sure both sides, they are even. You may hold the wool just like this way, or you may put the wool on your thumb finger, depending on the position of your section. It means different position of the section you have to put, or you have to hold the hair in different way to make it easy for you to get good and neat section so after i wrap it doesn't matter how many times you wrap just make sure you wrap the hair well down is well secured then before i make twist i make sure i roll the wool don't roll too tight just roll till you make sure all the wool is well then start make twists and as you can see here you have to keep space the more you wrap you keep space so that when you pull up the twist, you'll get even twist. And then after you pull up, you have to make sure the strand you use to wrap, you pull down. And then all the remaining wool you have to pull up. And after you pull up, then you may decide to make the size of the twist you want. You may decide either to put this twist so close to each other. Or you may decide to keep a little space between one twist to another just like what I did. And as you can see, when you are pulling, not too powerful to hurt yourself. Just do things gentle. And then make sure every time after you pull up, you resize again and again your twist to get even and clean twists. And after I get the length I want, I go ahead and secure twice to make sure everything is well secured before I jump to the next section. In this video, I decided to do small section because I want to keep this hair for a little long time. And as you know, African threading style is long time protective style. You may decide to keep this hairstyle up to eight weeks even more depending on how you are uh how your scalp reacts like for me i cannot keep over one month because it's very easy for my scalp to feel itching so if you are comfortable you may keep even three months if you can so again i take six strand plus one then i wrap this six strand together with my natural hair and when I wrap, I make sure I don't wrap too tight. I just wrap gentle. I don't want to cause any tension on my scalp. And then 
after I feel like I wrap enough, then I start to make twists. And if you are wondering, like, if you want to make bigger twists, then you have to add strand. Here I use six strand each section to get this size. It means if you want bigger than this, you have to add strand. You may decide to use either 10 or 12 strand in each section, depending on the size of the twist you want. So before you make twists, make sure you roll not too tight when you roll don't roll too tight to make it hard for you to pull the twist up just roll simple maybe you may roll like three times four times then make twist and keep repeat the same process and if you are beginner don't make uh so many twists you may decide to make four twists first and then pull the wool up and then resize the size of the twist and then keep do that if you do that you'll find it's more easy but if you are beginning that the first time you want to do like 10 twists then it will be a little hard for you so just go slowly slowly one step at a time start with three twists and then after you make twists pull the wool up while the wool you use to wrap pull it down and then make the size of your twist don't forget to avoid this hair to unravel you have to make sure you secure end of this hair well and to braid my entire head i use only three bundles of this doom wool but if you want to make the length more longer than mine or more short than mine of course you'll use uh either more packs of wool or less depending on the length you want again before you make a uh, twist you have to make sure you tuck your hair in of course it's impossible to tuck your hair in 100% but at least try to tuck your hair in for 85-90% before you make twists it's such a very easy hairstyle that Anyone can achieve. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or not. This hairstyle is so easy to follow. You don't need to use energy or so much effort to achieve this style. It's so easy if you follow the procedures before you make twists. Make sure you roll the wool to get good twists. so after i finish braid i go ahead and i trim off all the excess wool you may decide to go ahead and burn the ends if you want but that is option because like for me after i burn end of this wool it's so hard to dress up any kind of clothes i want because sometimes if you burn the ends it's so easy to stack on some of materials and that is not something i like so usually i only trim off excess wool and i just leave my hairstyle like that without burn the end and guys this is how the hair looks with that makeup and let me go ahead and put on my makeup and this is the final result i love you guys and i will see you soon bye bye